Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, so I had this idea at the beginning of this year that I wanted to um, create kind of like a TV channel um, on horse medicine leadership to be able to share a little bit more about this path with horses. Um, I'm sharing this both. This will be on my YouTube channel and also on my Facebook, which I'm live on as well. Um, so I'm hoping to sort of cultivate uh, more content for this community. I am for those of you that don't know who I am, I just wanted to give a little bit of a background of, you know, horse medicine, where it came from, and a little bit of, of my journey. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that for um, this first episode. So um, currently, I have a retreat center that I run. Um, it's 80 acres just north of Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. I have a herd of 29 horses. Um, 24 of those belong to me and uh, former rescues. And I run retreats, working with horses. Um, they're blended in my mentorship programs. And then I also have my horse medicine leadership training for those that are looking to um, step into the, to the partnership with horses and how they serve um, their clients. And I wanted to um, take a little bit of opportunity to talk about sort of horse medicine in the path of horses that are, you know, maybe for those of you that are being just introduced to this path or um, have been following me for a while and are curious about it. So my own, um, I guess, uh, the pathway with horses began when I was a, a young girl. I didn't grow up with horses, but I was exposed to horses like many people um, in my youth. And um, I found myself, I think, naturally feeling this place where I, I felt the, the space of horses was really special and unique in terms of when I was with horses, I felt that I was transformed in a way, or I felt like it was like coming home to myself. So I think even as a young child, um, that it wasn't so much about riding for me as what I felt or what horses offered me in terms of, you know, camaraderie and a connection to myself and that something special sort of happened in that relationship. Um, so I became, of course, horse obsessed and horse crazy. I followed that path to um, becoming a horse breeder because I didn't know about this way, you know, with horses as a career. And I spent a couple years working with um, thoroughbred race horses um, in the, uh, in the, you know, the horse industry that way. And I always sort of felt though that I wanted to do something that was honoring to people and the horses. Um, for many different years of my life before I had horse leagues to volunteer for rescues or I would visit the breeding farms and I would just have these, you know, sometimes very um, amazing experiences and exchanges with horses and I didn't always know how to explain it. And then when I got out of the breeding industry and kind of looking for what was I going to do now in my life, um, I found myself in uh, coach training with CTI. Um, doing coach training because I wanted to do something meaningful and all I could do was talk about horses and a woman in that program approached me saying you know there's women in Minnesota that are doing coaching with horses um, and so kind of began my introduction to this work and then of course I found um, the Dow of Equus um, by Linda Colano that I remember reading that um, book and kind of thinking to myself oh my god this is what I've been doing with horses my entire life and so it was very affirming to me, and this was back in 2006. And then I spent about three years getting training in this work. And I remember having a moment um, where I was doing a practice session as part of my training and thinking to myself, this is what I was, what I was born to do. And that connection that I, I did have a purpose with horses, and this is what I was called to do in, in, in the world. And so... Um, that sort of was a little bit of, of my journey. And after being in, you know, facilitating this work for five years, I had a client of mine in 2014 kind of beg me to train her because she really resonated with how I spoke about this work with the horses. And so um, I then created Horse Medicine Leadership. And um, really, I think the thing for me in terms of the purpose of Horse Medicine Leadership, whether it is my training or, or this, you know, this TV channel or on Facebook is, to really help support people and their connection with the horses, you know, if it's um, through via their studying with me, or if it's an introduction to um, somebody else that is doing this work. Um, I'm very passionate about helping people follow this path of, of horse medicine. Um, I, I really believe that the horses have something to offer humanity in terms of how we um, 
you know, connect to our own consciousness and our own wisdom. And so I think that the more of us that are walking this path, the better it is for the world. And of course, I think the other byproduct of this that I'm really passionate about is it also supports horses because for many horses, um, predominantly they're viewed as, you know, riding or there's something that they have to do with us. And I know for the horses that I have in my herd, um, they come to me because they're being discarded. And so my hope is through, you know, the kind of exposure of this work is that it also gives horses um, a better life, you know, and that they're valued for more than whether we can ride them or not and seen as teachers. Um, so in being able to share um, this space with you all is to hope to kind of deepen that teaching and awareness of that to support those that are on the path where they want to do this work and, you know, give a little bit of a deepening into this relationship and partnership with horses and their medicine and how do we, how do we follow that path. Um, so as a first episode, I wanted to, you know, talk about um, how do we deepen into this path with horses, you know, if we find ourselves in there. Um, for those of us that maybe are already on the path or for those that are kind of exploring is this work that I want to do for me. So a couple of things that I kind of recommend. I think that often that we can get affirmation from the horses themselves. And so one of the things in on my training program that is very foundational in terms of what I teach is deepening our partnership and relationship with horses, right? That the horses are part of our team and our allies and they can provide a lot of clarity and insight for us if we just offer that intention. So if you have horses or you have a connection to horses, um, cause I think that our path with them isn't just about us. It's us being almost a voice for them too. So often for me, it's like, I, I sought out the horses to support me on my path of partnership with them because, um, I, I am part of that. It's not just about me and my love for them. It's about, I am, um, kind of being a voice for, for them in this work. And so finding the clarity of our pursuit of that can come from the horses themselves. So if you have horses, um, if you have a connection to your herd or a herd of horses, um, you can kind of bring the question of what is my path with you? And, and to ask the horses to support that path, you know, whether that leads you to a training or that helps deepen if you've already been through a training of deepening your purpose with them. The thing that I always advocate for that we often forget is we can receive a lot of wisdom and guidance from our horses. So I know for myself, whether it is something in my personal life or my work that I'm constantly wanting to evolve or even my program that I created horse medicine leadership was built through what I took to the horses and asked, what do you want me to teach? Um, and it really was my horses who supported and encouraged me to create a program because I struggled with that in terms of the responsibility of teaching people in this way. And, you know, who am I to do that? And, um, it's just, it's a huge, it's a huge responsibility to hold. And the horses were the ones that offered me that, you know, part of my own purpose is to teach this way, you know, to those that might resonate with how I teach it. And so we can find a lot of wisdom and courage and clarity there. So you can take this inquiry of what is my path with horses and um, where are the horses supporting me to the horses themselves, you know, in terms of getting their support. And I think to rem remember that, you are in partnership with them always, and they can be a source and an anchor for you as you need it to sort of tap into. Um, the second thing, you know, for people that are just discovering this path, and I kind of recommend that, you know, exploring that curiosity of other people that are doing this work, and what do I resonate, and is it possible for me to create this path in the world through what I do? Um, I really enjoyed Linda Konov's The Tao of Equus. I think she's a brilliant, um, teacher and researcher in this industry, and I really respect what she's done. Um, that book was incredibly affirmative for me when I was first on this journey of being able to kind of conceptually understand what I was feeling with horses my whole life, that, oh, this is what's been going on. You know, this is, um, this is what's been happening for me. So I, I, I think that's a great book to sort of start as an introduction if you're feeling called to this path of like, what is this path about? Um, Horse, Horse Sense in the Human Heart, which was written by two um, psychiatrists, I think, psychiatrists, psychologists um, in, on the East Coast in the United States of their path with um, this work, working with their clients and um, at-risk youth. 
Um, so I, I really love that book. Um, also, Lena Kohanov's Writing Between the Worlds is a really wonderful book. Um, so kind of you can read up on those and, and again, kind of get affirmed um, in this path. I have a podcast that I did called, um, or, I've, or I still do, but Women Who Run With Horses. And um, that's sort of a sharing of my, I guess, philosophy and connection to horses and their teaching and their wisdom. And of course, I'm hoping to kind of share some here. So I think the podcast is a great place to listen to in terms of getting introduced. Um, in terms of if this is a place of I'm curious about this path and what is out there for me and where to get supported, I think it's important for us to um, expose ourselves to different philosophies to find the one that feels right for us um, and where we feel a connection to um, who's going to support our learning in this. Um, again, I'm a really big supporter and uh, I'm biased, of course. I think my program's amazing. And I think any time that there's more of us doing this work and where we find the resonance of who our teachers are is, is really good. And so there's a lot of people out there that are teaching um, different philosophies about this path and this work. I think it's really good to explore that and read about um, what they're sharing um, and how they're holding this work. Lynn Akonov, her, her website is EponaQuest. Um, I studied um, with, I've done part of her training through um, Five Rules of the Master Herder and then my teachers out of Horse Spirit Connections um, learned from Linda, so I'm influenced by that as well. Um, but there's lots of different, you know, people out there that are doing this path. And of course, I have my own, you know, approach to that as well. Um, I really trust that we're led to those that are going to support our entry into it. and the first step is sort of really explore and find where our connection to this path is. I spent three years training from four different, four or five different people because I wanted to see different ways that this work was being held and what I resonated with. So I think that exploration and kind of excavation of that is really an important part of the process. Um, so I'll share my, my uh, podcast link here. You can listen to that. And then Linda Kolonov has a Dow of Equus, um, Four Sense in the Human Heart, which I can't remember the author's names, but it, that's a really great book, Writing Between the Worlds. Um, Linda's written a bunch of other books. Um, those ones I think are really great in terms of the introduction of, uh, you know, our personal path with horses too. And then of course, um, seeking the horses themselves. One of the things that I believe is part of horse medicine leadership in my philosophy is a lot of our training actually comes from the horses themselves. And I look at my role through this um, initiation or support of this pathway is to be a guide to that. But ultimately, we're going to learn more from horses than you will from anybody. And I, I really believe in that. And I think tuning into what is the unique medicine of each horse is, plus the collective medicine of horses and how it serves humanity and what we learn in terms of um, what horses mirror to us and how they live. So a lot of my own philosophy is spending a lot of time in that realm of building that partnership and relationship and really seeing the horses as a teacher of our work um, and what we hold space for for other people and also for ourselves. So the horses are a huge source them, themselves. I found training really helped me put a consciousness to that. Um, but what I really believe, and again, what I encourage even in my own training is spending a lot of time with the horses themselves and, and cultivating that, um, that, that pathway um, and looking to them to learn. I, I really believe we learn the most from them than we do um, from anybody. And I just get to teach kind of the way of the horse to people and help them interpret what that language is about, because I believe there's a lot that's there. So um, I look forward to sort of being able to share that with you. I'm trying to think of ways that I can bring, you know, um, videos of my herd to um, this kind of TV series and talking with the horses so that you can get an introduction to that through the lens of the horses themselves, because I think that's really powerful. Um, and then for those that are curious to kind of look up some of my work, you can find me on Hillary Schneider, um, dot com or excuse me, Hillary Schneider on Facebook. And you can kind of see my interpretation of where I've pulled the horses in my work. And obviously Horse Medicine Leadership Academy here. Horse Medicine Leadership Academy is the umbrella in which I teach this work, um, both in my training. I also have advanced training and mentorship under that umbrella for those that are working in partnership with horses. Um, the, I guess the uniqueness of this training and this umbrella, it really is about the kind of the, the, the core and the connection to horse medicine and what it teaches us and kind of learning from the perspective of the horses and developing your unique vision in this work and also how you're going to walk that work out into the world with your business and who you're going to serve. So I believe in kind of the totality of developing people in 
the languaging of horses and speaking, you know, horse language and interpreting it and understanding, you know, how we teach horse medicine. Um, and then how you're going to create this work and what your unique leadership of it is so that you sort of have um, a connection and a confidence in how you walk this work out into the world. And then also what is your programs that you're going to create around this practice. So there's things that um, I'm kind of blending in all the places that I learned that I put into one program. I have private training and group training. And then I also do advanced training for people who have training already but are looking to deepen it. And then, of course, mentorship. So that's kind of found on my website if you're curious. Um, and also, this, I hope, is part of a support of your path of I'm trying to understand this work. I want to deepen it myself. So if you have questions or comments or things that you're curious about in terms of this horse path or I'm really interested in this, please let me know because I'm hoping to... Um, you know, support, support that entry for you. And I'll be sharing different episodes around what I've learned with horses and how we interpret that language um, to be able to support your journey with it. So I hope that it will be supportive for you. If you have questions for me or you want to explore any of my spaces, um, please let me know and um, stay tuned because you'll be getting more of this and I'm excited to bring that to you and we will see you guys all soon.